Hi, this is Karen from Three Inquisitive Kids. In this video, we're going to have a talk through of how to solve a sixth grade ratio problem. Pauline divides a 56 meter squared garden into two plots of land to plant roses and tulips separately. The ratio of the land area planted with roses to the land area planted with tulips is 5 to 2. What is the area of the land planted with roses? So let's first reread the problem. The total area of the garden is 56 meters squared. And then the ratio of the land with roses to the land with tulips is five to two. And now we're asking, what is the area of the land planted with roses? So first let's write this down. Five to two is the ratio. Since the question is, what is the area of the land planted with roses? And we know that the five is the amount of roses in the ratio. We don't really even have to look at this two because that really has nothing to do with what we're trying to find. It doesn't have anything to do with the area of the land planted with roses. So we don't have to look at this and we can rewrite the five as five over seven. But why can't we do that? Well, let's think about what 5 to 2 means. It means that in this 56 meter squared garden, every single group of 7 meters of land is going to have 5 sevenths of it for the roses and the other 2 sevenths for the tulips. And this also means that there's a total of seven units, but this is the five unit from the seven units because seven equals five plus two. It's the total number of units here in this ratio. Anyways, we now know that we can re rewrite the five in the ratio five to two as five over seven. And then we know the fraction that we want to find. So now we're going to put it into the whole sentence. What is 5 sevenths of the total amount 56? To find that, we're going to multiply this with 56. Remember, when there is the keyword of, when there's a keyword of, we usually know that it's multiplying. We usually know that of is referring to multiplication. Anyways, we multiply, and then all we have to do is simplify this equation. 5 over 7 times 56, we see that we can simplify this. And cross this out, and turn this into an 8. So then it becomes 5 times 8, which is 40. And there is our answer. 40 meters squared of the garden is planted with roses. Now that you already know about the first solution, let's take a look at the second one. This solution is going to include algebra. To solve this problem, we can definitely set a variable or an unknown value and then set up an algebraic expression to solve it. So we know that we have the ratio 5 to 2. We can actually rewrite that as 5x to 2x. As you can see, these are basically the same thing, except that this is a special case of this ratio when x equals 1. Anyways, we know that we have this, 5x to 2x. And we know that these two units, so this amount plus this amount of the ratio added together is going to become 56. Because this is the land that's roses and this is the land that's, that's tulips. And if we want to put two amounts together, what do we do? Of course, we add them together to merge the two amounts together. 5x plus 2x is equal to 56. What does this mean? 
means that the area of the land planted with roses plus the area of the land planted with tulips is equal to the whole mass of the garden, 56. Now, all we have to do is simplify. First, we combine like terms. 5 of something called x plus 2 of the same thing called x is going to give us 7 of that same thing called x. So 7x equals 56. And then we divide a 7 on both sides. And then x is left all alone on the left side of the expression. And we di also divide a 7 on the 56, which we get 8x equals 8. But are we done? No, we are not done. See, we have to go back up here. And then we have to plug the 8 back in. But we don't have to waste time trying to multiply 8 to 2. We don't have to plug that in. We only have to plug it in over here, the first unit, because that is the area of the land that's that's describing the roses. So we plug this in, which is equal to 5 times 8, which is also equal to 40. Just like last time. Oh, sorry, this is supposed to be 3. And just like last time, we get the answer. The area of the land planted with roses is 40. Thank you for watching this video. And if this is your first time to our channel, please remember to subscribe. Also, remember to add a like thumbs up next to the subscribe button. I hope that you learned something helpful from this video. And if you have any other solutions to solve this problem, please remember to comment down in the comments down below. See you next time.